Hey, Phil Ebner here with Video School Online, and Adobe has just released their CC 2018 versions of all of their applications. Photoshop has been updated, and one of the updates they've made is just making the selection tools a little bit better, especially with the Refine Edge option. If you're watching this in the Photoshop class, I don't think I've really gone over this actually, but say I wanna take this line and I wanna put the lion on top of this image right here of this tree, just make this a little bit bigger. It would be really hard to go in here and make a perfect selection of the lion and the lion's mane. You got all these hair, wisps of hair around the edge. Typically what I would do would go into my quick selection tool. With this layer selected, I would paint over or select over this lion's face like so. And you can't really get into the hair details too much with this selection tool. So I would go into the select and mask option, which is pretty cool. You have your different views up here. If I wanna drop the transparency of the background, I can do that, which actually brings up the transparency of the foreground selection layer. And I can do things here that will affect the edge, which will make it a little bit better, like increasing the radius of the edge detection. And you can see that the hair starts to become a little bit more defined. I can click Smart Radius and that will help even better. But we also have this Refine Edge Brush Tool over here, which is the one below our little Quick Selection Tool. And by taking that, which you have your brush options, the hardness and size up here, we can actually brush over the hair and it will make an even better selection removing the background and selecting the hair. If we change the view option to this black and white option, you can see all the detailed hair up here, which I just brushed over. Down here, it's not as detailed, but if I brush over it, you can see that we get more detail. Let me go back to our onion skin layer, and maybe I want to just quickly get rid of the dark up here. I can just paint over here with that edge selection tool. Pretty darn cool. And then we could go back, we could adjust our edge radius. We can shift the edge just a little bit just to bring back some of that hair if we want. We can also go down to our output settings and check this box for decontaminate colors, which will decontaminate the foreground colors from the background, which makes it look a little bit more natural. If we went a little bit too far, we can always press the Option key if you're on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC and brush over again with your Refine Edge brush because, you know, up here it was getting a little bit difficult to find the edge of the hair like so. Something like that might work or maybe you just want it to be darker. Maybe you want that to look like so. Anyways, you can play around with it. But yeah, this is just one of those cool updates that Adobe Photoshop has added. So now we have our selection layer and we can move it around. We can copy it, we can paste it, we can put it into another Photoshop project, which is another cool update that they've added. Now you can copy and paste layers from one project to the other, which you couldn't do before. So now if I select this lion layer, for example, and press Command C on my Mac computer, Control C if you're on a PC, I can go to another project, this lady over here, and paste it, Command V. So now we have this lion layer. We've got our layer with this lady who's you know about to be eaten, or maybe they're gonna become best friends in the new sequel to The Lion King, or you know, whatever. And that's just one cool thing that's going to make your life a lot easier as a Photoshop editor, copying and pasting layers from one project to the other. Something that I've tried doing in the past, it's just natural, and now you can do it. Cool, so those are just a couple of the quick updates that I wanted to mention in this video. I'll be creating more tutorials on all of the other CC 2018 updates that you can check out in the course or on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in another lesson.